This bottle right here is empty. It is empty. Hi, Shea Babes. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Ayana, and you want to go ahead, press that subscribe button and that notification bell next to it so you will not miss NT videos from me all right so let's go ahead and get into today's video this has been a very requested video over instagram tiktok youtube all combined a lot of people have been asking for sunscreen slash spf recommendations and i'm like girl of course i got you i am the queen of sunscreen okay but first before i jump into that if you are not wearing sunscreen please wear sunscreen no matter what no matter if it's easy for you to get sunburned or not easy for you to get sunburned you need to be wearing sunscreen because skin cancer is real sunscreen is very important to me though because i do have albinism which is the lack of melanin so i can get sunburned very very easily so that is why i am always stocked up on sunscreen i done had severe sunburn on myself throughout my life probably about four times it's not fun. So this first category will be makeup SPF, okay? Makeup that has SPF in it. You need to apply SPF sunscreen all over your body from your face to your neck to your body, legs, arms, but they have SPF lip balms now, y'all, and this is absolutely amazing. The first SPF lip balm I've ever tried was from K Skin, so you're not getting sunburn on your beautiful lips, okay? This is more of a clear gloss. This is their original SPF lip balm. This lip balm actually has SPF 30 in it. They also came out with three additional colors as well, so I really, really like that. All of these are SPF 30. So these are some really good lip glosses or lip balms that have SPF in it. Now, if you do get this in your mouth, it will taste like sunscreen okay so i try my best not to put too too much on my lips because if you get it in your mouth it will taste like sunscreen and that's not a good taste okay but k-skin was one of the first brands i've ever tried that had spf in their lip balm so i am like head over heels for these another brand of lip balm slash lipsticks is super goop y'all they came out with their spf lip shades i think last summer these are very very hydrating on the lips and they have like a minty taste i'm not sitting here tasting anything Thing, but you know you get a little bit in your mouth sometimes but it has like a little minty taste so it does not taste like sunscreen if it does get in your mouth this is spf 30 as well they have four shades like i mentioned most of the shades are on the reddish pink side for the shades i don't really wear these on a daily basis because sometimes i don't feel like having like so much color on my lips so i'll probably just go with the k skin the clear gloss or the new team shade but these are really really good if you want to add like a little bit of color to your lips and these also have the ability to be built up up on the lip as well so if you don't want a lot of this pigment on your lips you can just dab it on there or tap it into the lips as well and i really do enjoy using these these are very hydrating on the lips and this is the second brand that i've actually saw or used that have lip products that have spf in it so that is absolutely amazing another thing by super Goop that just got released it literally just got released this week okay and i had the opportunity to try it and i got it on right now today is the super Goop protect tint daily spf and this has spf 50 in it y'all and i was quite surprised when i saw how much spf was on here and it said 50. i have another tinted moisturizer that i'm going to show you but that has spf 20 in it it's super lightweight it doesn't even feel like i have anything on my face like i said i have it on today right now and it is super, super lightweight. The shade that I'm actually wearing today is 10 in, and I really, really like that shade. It, it was a very, very close match to my natural skin complexion, so I really, really like the shade 10 in, and they have, I think, about 14 shades i want to say so if you're somebody that wears skin tint because i am a big fan of skin tint i like to wear skin tint it has spf in it so that is absolutely amazing okay so i am obsessed with this and i love the name of it protect tint i might be incorrect so if i'm incorrect please correct me in the comments but i think the lower the spf number is the more uv rays is allowed through the sunscreen and i think also the numbers indicate 
when you should be reapplying your sunscreen again. So like every two hours, every 15 minutes, every hour, every 30 minutes. So I think that's what the numbers indicate as well, but I might be wrong if I'm incorrect. Please correct me in the comments. Another makeup related product that has SPF in it and I really enjoyed using was the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This has SPF 20 in it. This was the first tinted moisturizer that I used that had SPF in it and I really enjoyed using this. But then Supergoo came out with theirs and it said 50. I'm just like, girl, y'all both gonna be my little stash, okay? These are really, really good products. If you're somebody that is interested in skin tint, and you need SPF as well. These are two good products that I highly recommend trying out. But Lori Mercier, she's a really good product as well. It leaves the skin like dewy. While we're still up here for the SPF, I'm gonna hop into the face sunscreens that I really, really love using on myself. First up, we have some more Supergoop, okay? Supergoop has a unseen sunscreen and glow screen. The unseen sunscreen is more of a clear consistency. This is the unseen sunscreen. It literally looks like petroleum jelly that's the best way i can describe what it looks like but it's actually clear and i thought that was so cool i just don't like how it feels sometimes it does feel like i don't know how to describe the how it feels but once it dries down you don't feel anything but i just don't like how it feels when you rub it onto your skin immediately but this is more of a like soft matte type of look but you can just rub it in right quick and you won't even see it on your skin at all so this is a very good sunscreen like i said i'm not really a huge fan of the texture when you immediately put it on but it does dry down very very nicely it doesn't feel greasy or anything like that so this is a good sunscreen it is spf 40. they also have glow screen now i am obsessed with the glow screen okay i have the shades dawn and sunrise so they ended up releasing more shades for the glow screen originally i was using the sunrise shade which is more of a tinted color but when it came out with dawn i use that one on a daily basis because i'm able to rub it into my skin so you're not seeing that it's like a little tint to it but this dawn shade is the perfect shade for me this is more on the light peachy side i use this on a daily basis this is spf 40 so they have a total of four shades i believe for the glow screen this adds a little bit of like dewiness to your skin and i absolutely love this sunscreen for my face another good face sunscreen that i like to use is by k skin as well this is spf 45 i'm actually running low on this i am obsessed with this because it leaves a nice dewy look on the skin as well i'm all out oh there go one drop one drop it does leave like a nice glowy radiant look to your skin when you use it now this does have a little bit of tint to it but i make sure to rub it all in on damp skin because i realized when i use this product while my skin is dry you can still see that it's like tint to it but i really enjoy using this k skin face sunscreen now if you get this in your eye it burns anytime you get sunscreen in your eye it burns but sometimes when i get this i don't know how i even get it in my eyes sometimes i don't even know if it just runs into my eye so make sure you don't get it in your eye but i really enjoy using this sunscreen another face sunscreen that i just started using was the fenty skin sunscreen this is their invisible moisturizer and spf this is spf 30 i literally just started using this y'all i've been using it for probably for about two, three weeks. And I enjoy it. It's a moisturizer and an SPF, so I do enjoy using this. This is a purple pink sunscreen, which I thought was super, super cute. And it does not have a strong sunscreen smell at all. And it feels, yeah, it does feel very hydrating, actually. It feels very, very good. And it rubs in very nicely. It's clear when you finish rubbing it in. I don't know what the scent might be. It probably be something else, but I think it's because of my brain seeing this purple and that it's coming out purple. I'm just gonna say it smell like grapes. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I've been using this for about two, three weeks and I enjoy using it. It's SPF 30, like I mentioned. It's not a strong sunscreen smell. Everything that I've showed you so far is not a strong sunscreen smell. And that's the one thing I hate. I hate sunscreens that smell like sunscreen. And is free is another good brand. This is their daily UV defense sunscreen. This has SPF 36. It does not have a strong sunscreen smell. It absorbs into my skin very, very nicely. It doesn't leave any like residue or any type of greasiness on my skin either. So I really, really enjoy using this sunscreen. I'm actually surprised that I enjoyed using this one because I saw it on TikTok and sometimes people be on, they be overhyping stuff sometimes. But when I saw they sent this to me and I tried it out, I'm like, okay, I do enjoy it. I really 
really do like this face sunscreen. And the last face related product that has SPF in it is Kula. I forgot I even used this one before and I used it underneath my, um, my makeup just to have like a little dewy glow look. And this does have a nice little dewy look to it so i was actually quite surprised and this is kula's do good illuminizing serum sunscreen this has spf 30 in it y'all see that it's giving the illuminating that is what it gives y'all so i had to use it under my makeup one time but i enjoy using this and it does feel really really nice on the skin it doesn't leave it feeling greasy or anything like that now let's move on to the body sunscreen okay one thing about me and one thing I've learned over the years is that I cannot use body sunscreen on my face because I will break out. And also, I just feel like the body sunscreen is a lot more harsher because it's. I feel like the skin on your body is not the same skin on your face. That is why I no longer use sunscreen that is for my body on my face okay so you need to have two separate sunscreens in my opinion. First sunscreen brand that is on my list that is for your body is banana boat this is the og of sunscreen okay she has been in my life since i was born this brand has been a consistent brand in my life since i was born okay banana boat is a very good brand if you do not know about banana boat it is literally everywhere every drugstore every every grocery store you go to they will have banana boat there trust and believe so banana boat is a sunscreen that i use on my body i have spf 100 here and spf 50. like i mentioned when it comes to the spf because i had to look it up this one time because i was like spf 100 i've never heard of no spf 100 i heard of spf 50 but never 100 so i looked it up the the, num the number difference doesn't even really matter because this is spf 50 and this is spf 100 it's literally point percent one point percent this might be 98.1 percent and this might be 98 percent that is literally how small it is when it comes to the numbers so this doesn't mean you can just go all day without wearing sunscreen just because it says sp of 100 it literally just means you can go at least an extra three minutes before you have to reapply you technically don't need a spf 100 because with this i've noticed it is super, super, super thick. It is thick, y'all. And I'm just like, I don't know. I'm, I'm still use it up, but will I repurchase? Probably not because I am a spray sunscreen girly because you can just spray it on right quick, rub it in and go with this. Since it is SPF 100 and it is in a lotion form, you have to sit there and rub it in for at least three minutes okay not even exaggerating you have to literally work this into your skin i am a fan of sunscreen spray because like i said you can just spray it on right quick rub it in your skin and get going literally banana boat is the reason why i don't like the smell of sunscreen <laughs> sunscreen and this brand has been in my life since i was born it literally just reminds me of of childhood and having to put on sunscreen when i don't want to put on sunscreen and i know i have to but that is why i don't like the smell of sunscreen because i feel like i don't want to put it on because it smells like sunscreen but yes these are two of the products from banana boat that i use i sometimes use a lotion i sometimes use a spray but once this is used up will i repurchase it probably not because I am a spray sunscreen girly okay another drugstore sunscreen brand that I have is by Neutrogena this is SPF 70 I do like this because it does not feel like a greasy feel this is their dry touch sunscreen and it doesn't have a strong sunscreen smell it's something I can deal with but far as like banana boat like I just can't with the <laughs> I can't yeah, I can't with the with the smell of the banana boat. Banana boat also leaves like a little residue. I feel like you can feel it on your skin. Once you rub this in, I can still tell that it's something on my skin. Banana boat is not a brand that I reach for all the time since there is more sunscreen out here nowadays. But if I need something that's like cheap, then I'll go with banana boat. And Neutrogena, because Neutrogena is an affordable drugstore brand as well. Like I said, you can get it from Walmart, Target, uh, CVS, Walgreens. Like literally they will have this in the store along with Banana Boat. So these are both brands that you can find in the drugstore slash grocery store. And I like the Neutrogena as well. Like I said, it rubs into my skin pretty nicely. It doesn't take so much elbow grease to rub it in. It doesn't have a strong, strong smell of sunscreen either. So this is SPF 70. Now another brand of sunscreen that I really enjoyed using for my body was Kula, y'all. This bottle right here is empty. 
it is empty. I have another bottle somewhere, but this is the bottle I had got from my mom. I took it from her because I was like, yours smell better than mine. But this is Kula's SPF 50 Classic Sunscreen Spray. This is in the scent Guava Mango, which smells so good. I think they have other scents as well. I literally found out about this in this brand from my mom. This made me want to put on sunscreen, okay? It smells good. It does not smell like sunscreen at all. And it is a spray sunscreen as well. Like I said, I am a spray sunscreen girly. All you gotta do is spray it on right quick. Reach everywhere where you can and rub it in right quick and you're good to go. So I am obsessed with this sunscreen. Like I said, this one empty, she done with. I got another one somewhere in the house. And last but not least, we have K-Scan Body Sunscreen. They just released this, I think, last year. And this is SPF 50 as well. I ended up taking this with me when I went to the Perry Fair at the end of last year because I was gonna be outside all day and I just sprayed it on right quick, like spray it on and rub it on and kept it on moving. And I did not get sunburned. So I was, you know, good to go. And it doesn't have a strong sunscreen smell at all. I don't smell any type of sunscreen smell. So this is one body sunscreen that I really, really enjoy using. It doesn't leave your skin feeling greasy at all. If it, it literally feels like dry. So those are all of my sunscreen recommendations and everything that I've used personally. Let me know down below, have you ever tried any of these brands or tried any of these products that I've mentioned in this video? And also drop down below if I haven't mentioned anything, you know, share what you use as SPF or sunscreen because that could help somebody else as well. Because like I said, this is just things that I've used personally. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to save it. Sometimes I be forgetting sometimes what I be saying in my videos. I have to go back and rewatch. Make sure you save this video. Video, okay don't forget to like comment and subscribe don't forget to share sharing is caring so go ahead and do that don't forget your beautiful you're strong you the best music and I will see you guys in my next one